Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you for joining me today. I have a few project shares for Buttons Galore and more. I am on their design team and these are the projects that I submitted for March of 2021. So I want to show you guys too, just to show you the things that you can make with their products. Um, I'll give you some ideas and hopefully you like them and try them out yourselves. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments. I will also link all the um, products that I used in the description box down below. So please look there if you are interested. So let's get started. I have four different projects. The first one I made these mini St. Patrick's Day boxes filled with uh, buttons and sequins and things for crafty friends. As you can see, they're uh, pretty small, but they hold a lot of stuff. I got the die set for this from Allie, which I will link down below just in case you're interested. It's so versatile. I love it. You can, well, I use this die set to make little gift boxes for all different occasions, but I thought it'd be good for St. Patrick's Day because I don't have a lot of St. Patrick's Day paper. And um, for this project, you don't need that much. So it worked out pretty well. So what I did was I made the box and then I made this like little band to put on top of it. I don't think this was in the die set. I just kind of made that up myself, but just to hold it closed, although you don't really need it. It opens like a matchbook. So what I did in this one, I put a ton of buttons and these were all pre-mixed. These are from one of uh, Buttons Galore's big bags of buttons. It's called a button bonanza. And this grouping is called Rainforest. And it's got all different sizes of different and different shades of green. Uh, perfect for crafting. You know us crafters, we love buttons. So I thought this would be a great gift to put into some Happy Mail. Um, it's really nice and sturdy and it stays closed well, even without the belly band. So that's the first one I made. And once I got started making them, I had to make a few. So let me show you a couple of, of the other ones. Um, this one I thought was really fun just because I love the band. That's a Doodlebug collection from last year or the year before. Uh, I think it's called like uh, Lots of Luck, maybe. I really don't remember. But um, anyway, this one I thought was super cute. Um, I added, this was a sequin from Buttons Galore that I just, actually it had like a little loop. So you could see one in there that has a loop. I just cut that off to use as decorations. So that's this one. And inside, I, oh, I got to show you, I made a mistake and I just um, filled it in on the back. I didn't want to have to redo the whole thing, so hang on. See, I cut out the um, this back window by mistake, so actually what I did was this, was this was supposed to be the front, and I cut the little window too low, so I just filled it in and made it the back. Don't want to waste, right? So in this one, I added um, a whole bunch, of, like a little Ziploc bag of different sequins. And this actually all comes from one sequins mix. It comes from this cube, a shaker mix, which is called Coming Up Clover. Again, I'll link it down below. And I filled this up a lot. I mean, there's a good amount of sequins in here. And that used maybe about, what, like half of the cube? So it's so cute. It's got this really pretty like bluish green color sequin in there. I just love that. And it's got shamrocks and buttons and a ton of seed beads, as you can see. So, and there's some uh, flatback pearls there too. So a really nice mix for shakers. And if you fill it up or fill up the, uh, fill up a bag, it fits in here perfectly. So that was my second one, also for a crafty friend. And I made one more. This one I used the die that has like two different windows. So I thought that was fun. And um, I just, I had a die in my stash for a shamrock. So I cut that out a couple times, added a buttons galore button, of course. And then this one I added a whole pack. This is one of their Sugar Shop glitter button packs. And um, it just, it fit perfectly in here once I folded this down. And this one is called Granny Smith really pretty glittery green it is it's a total granny smith color so and it comes with different size buttons so i thought that would be a cute gift also for a crafty friend and buttons are great because you can use those in paper crafting also if you're just like a you know a sewer sewers use them of course 
so that's my first project. Let's just move those out of the way. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I had shown you one of these before. I made some bottle cap charms and I showed you guys this little mini album that I made and this was one of the bottle cap charms that I made. Um, this was so easy to put together. Um, I had this rhinestone bottle cap in my stash. I believe I got it from KS Crafts on Alley. And I found that a one inch button fits perfectly in there. So I took, took a one inch button and then, uh, and I glued it in with E6000, which is great glue for this kind of craft. And I took a button, uh, like one of their 3D buttons and uh, cut the shank off the back with the wire cutter and just glued that on top too. And look, that's such a cute little charm. I added a bail, of course, which I do all the time, you guys know, and um, made it a charm. So, cause these bottle caps don't come with the loop, but if you wanna make it a charm, you have to add one. So I used this pack for the one inch button and this is called Love. And it's all different pinks and whites and reds and just, you know, good sizes. If you're looking for a certain size button, you're probably bound to find it in here like I did for that. And the cupcake comes from one of their, um, I forget what they call these, like cards or something. I'll link it down below. But they're really cute prepackaged like this. And this collection is called Sweet Delights. And one of them is, yeah after dinner treats and the other one is happy endings i don't really remember which one okay they, i wrote it down good the cupcake button comes from happy endings so this one so it was on here they're the ones with the shanks so you just cut those off easy peasy and use them as decorations if you don't want to use those as buttons so that was one that i made i made a few more of course Here's another one. I used another one of the, uh, I think this one was from Sweet Delights. No, After Dinner Treats. Sweet Delights. They're both Sweet Delights, sorry. After Dinner Treats for the cherry. I used another button from the button pack. And actually, before I glued in the button, I took some brick rack and just kind of fitted it to the inside of the bottle cap and just kind of laid it there while I pressed the button down with glue and it just kind of like stuck up a little bit. So I thought that was cute. Kind of looks like grass, adds some texture, and then I glued a ribbon on the top. And I just think this one came out so cute. This one I just used a plain white craft bottle cap that I had gotten on clearance from Hobby Lobby a while back. So there's that one. And then another one, I just kept going with the buttons and uh, I used a white one for that. And I love this little strawberry. I don't know if you could tell, but it's got a little bit of sparkles in the spot where the seeds are. Yeah, it's not really showing up on camera, but it's so cute. And of course you could add more sparkles to it with you know some glitter if you wanted to as well. So there's that one. And the next one I did was a little bit different. I used another one of those white Hobby Lobby bottle caps. And for this, I just add, I put some sequins in the uh, bottle cap. And then I added one of those like epoxy stickers on top. And it just kind of holds the sequins into place, but kind of makes them look like they're suspended, you know? I thought that was so cute. And these sequins are from, let's see. Oh, okay. They're from, let me get out my... Oops. I opened that up by mistake. Okay, this is the underside of it, but it's called uh, Hello Cupcake, and this is one of the embellishment kits. This is upside down, sorry. I can't turn it over because it's open. But um, there's seed beads in there, and they're all these sequins. That's what I used in here. Okay, uh, I'll clean that up when we're done. <laughs> and then for the uh, embellishment, I used a little flower sequin from Buttons Galore, and that comes from this. This is a one of those pretty little tins that Buttons Galore makes. It's from 28 Lilac Lane, and this one is Cherry Blossom, and it, yeah, it has those pretty little flower sequins, which I just think are awesome because they're dimensional. Just add a little un unexpected... Um, flare to your shakers or you can use them as embellishments like this and I used a flat back pearl in there as well and that one comes from this embellishment kit comes from that part and this one's called French Quarter 
beautiful like Mardi Gras colors, gold and purple and green. So pretty. So that's what I use for those. I thought that was really fun. You know, I want to do something a little bit different with the buttons. So that's my second project. Let's just move those over. All right, so the next one, oh, yes. I made some cute embellished Easter eggs. And let me just bring my little bowl over here. Okay, these I used, you can get foam eggs at the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack. Um, I think the little ones come in a pack of 12 and the big ones come in a pack of six and they're just plain white styrofoam. So what I did was I painted them with acrylic paint. Um, just a suggestion, do not use spray paint if you do this, because I did that and the, um, the styrofoam kind of like all shriveled up. So I was going to bring an example out to show you, but it's not important. Just don't use it. <laughs> so anyway, like with the big ones, I painted them a couple of coats of acrylic paint, and then I added some rickrack, small rickrack all the way around, just glued it on with Fabri-Tac. And then I used some buttons galore trim, and I used some flat back pearls and some bling. These come from, let's see. Okay. This is a set of sparklets, which I just love these. Look at this group. This one's called Mermaid. And it's got flat back pearls, little tiny purpley sparkly stars. It's got bling, the little dewdrops. It's got sequins. It's just such a pretty mix. So for this one, yeah, I picked out the... Let me see. Okay, I used the white gems from that. And then the purple flatback pearls are from the French Quarter embellishment kit. And this ribbon, this pretty velvet ribbon on top, that's also from here. Cut a piece of that off. So it goes all the way around. And then for the little pink ones, this one's my favorite. Isn't this fun? All I did was I coated this with some glue each section and then just dipped it in some seed beads and the seed beads were from the French Quarter embellishment kit as well just leave that out so that was so fun to do these stuck really well and once you dip them in you could just you know kind of like press them down to make sure they stick so that was one and this one is a little more simple I just added some um, mini rickrack and then I added some bling I think this is is this from this as well this is from the little purple uh gems oh no they're from here they're from the mermaid sparklets cool okay <laughs> and then the aqua ones again i painted them with two coats of acrylic paint this one i added some ribbon underneath i got from dollar tree i'm pretty sure and this is some um, mint rickrack that i got from joann's recently and this one i just glued on some sequins randomly all around. These sequins come from, oh, this? Yes, they come from this cube, which is called Springtime in Paris. Beautiful colors, love these aquas and pinks. It has seed beads and those little clear sequins that I used here, buttons, everything that these shaker mixes have. It's so pretty. And then the top, I used another one of those flower sequins I showed you guys before. And then I used a clear sequin as well. Um, that one was from, I don't know, I think it was from the Hello Cupcake collection. And then I took a pin, a straight pin that I just had in my stash that has a pink pearlized top and just poked the whole thing through to hold it through, hold it in place. So there's that one. This one also, like the pink one, has some flat back pearls. These are a little bit different, but these come from, oh, Hello Cupcake also. Okay, and here's another seed bead mixture, just like the pink one. These were so fun to do. If you want to do one of these, I suggest this one because it's just, it was really fun. They're all fun to do, but I like that one the best. And those come from Hello Cupcake, the seed beads. So that was my third project, super fun. And, oops, oh, sorry about my tripod. Um, I could see making a ton of these and, you know, using them as decorations for Easter. 
And my last project, I showed you guys these cards before, but since they're part of my design team project, I wanted to show you again. These are mixer cards, mixer cards that I made, and I used Buttons Galore Bling for the um, little candies. So the candies are there in the mixer bowl, there, uh, and I glued them also to the ephemera as well, up here as well. So those come from Sprinklets, a new pack. This is new in their in their store. It's called Spring Break, and they're all different colors, pastel colors of little candies. So fun. You can pick them out, the ones you want, or, you know, use specific colors. I did not use the purple because there was no purple in my background paper, so I just left those out. So there's that one and this one as well. And this one, I used some clear seed beads from one of the embellishment kits as well, and the candies. Again, glued them up top here, and I'm happy. So those are my projects. I hope you guys like them. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I will link all the products down below. Uh, there's so many fun things to make with their with their goodies. I, every time I get a box in the mail, I'm so excited and inspired because there are you know just tons of ways you can use them. So I hope you guys liked again, and um, I will be back soon with another crafty video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.